The rapid evolution of artificial intelligence, or AI, has captivated users with its ability to compose music, write school essays, and perfectly mimic the human voice. But it has also raised fears about its ability to create convincing disinformation and also manipulate public opinion. That's exactly why the EU is racing to draw up rules to regulate AI in an ambitious bill called the AI Act. So what's this act all about and what are the implications for European citizens as well as tech giants? Well, first of all, this bill will classify AI uses according to four different levels of risk, going from unacceptable uh, down to minimal. An unacceptable level means this AI use is banned. So, for example, the social credit system, uh, like in China, where certain local authorities rank good as well as bad citizens. AI systems used in the high-risk categories like employment and education will also face tougher requirements. Violations will draw fines of up to 6% of a company's annual global revenue. But lawmakers will need to be careful uh, when drafting this bill for many reasons, uh, according to Johan Laux. How do you properly define AI? And that has been a really controversial issue in the entire drafting process of the, the, the law of the AI Act. And again, if you define AI too narrowly, you risk missing out on regulating certain harms. If you do define it too broadly, then you run the risk that um, you are overly inclusive and you will stifle innovation. And because technology is developing rapidly, well, another concern that's frequently raised is whether this AI Act will still be effective in a couple of years. Uh, well, we put the question to Dragos Tudaraki, a Romanian MEP co-sponsoring this bill. A lot of lawyers out there work with laws and codes that are sometimes even hundreds of years old. And the secret to that is that you have to try always when, when writing up law to try to capture the essence of the type of economic or social uh, relationship or phenomenon that you are regulating to the point where that would stand the test of time in five, in 10, in 15, in 20, even if the social relationship itself or the economic relationship or the phenomenon evolves. That's what we've tried to do, that respective of how uh, the technology will change, that core system of, of values and obligations will remain unchanged. Final approval of the bill is expected by the end of the year, followed by a grace period for companies to be able to adapt.